over 30 years ago, I became interested in researching the discovery of insulin, a project that generated two books, The Discovery of Insulin and Banting, a biography. In many ways, the most interesting of the people I came across in that project was James Bertram Collip, J.B. Collip, Bert Collip, to his friends. J.B. Collip was a native of Belleville, Ontario, uh, where his father ran a flourishing florist and market gardening business. The greatest adventure in Collip's life came on a traveling fellowship and to work with uh, James J.R. McLeod, the professor of physiology at the University of Toronto, when he formed a passing friendship with Dr. Fred Banting, who had come back to the university with a strange idea for research on diabetes and the pancreas. In December 1921, Professor McLeod invited Collip to work with Banting and Best, who had, for the last few months, been doing really interesting work on the pancreas of diabetic dogs and seemed to have discovered an extract that would enable diabetic dogs to begin functioning normally. Collip threw himself into the uh, diabetes research and in January 1922, Collip became the first person to produce an extract of pancreas that was clearly and unambiguously successful in treating a human diabetic. Uh, very quickly, the team called their extract insulin Within a few months, the scientific world was astounded by the potential of insulin to restore the lives and health of children, adults, suffering from type 1 diabetes. Collip was a co-discoverer of insulin. Personal relations were deeply strained and it's really only in the 21st century that we now talk about the four discoverers of insulin and there's no doubt that Collip was the most productive scientist of the insulin team. In 1928, moved from the University of Alberta to McGill where he was particularly active in developing the early estrogens. It was Collip's lab that produced the first commercial hormones that women used very substantially during menopause. His lab at McGill was Canada's first great scientific research laboratory. Well, students came from all over the world to work with Dr. Collip. He wound down his research in World War II when he became effectively an administrator in charge of Canadian medical research. He finally wound down his career as Dean of Medicine at the University of Western Ontario from 1947 to 1961. Collip died in London, Ontario in 1965. Looking at his career as a whole, it's hard to see that there were any other scientists of this caliber in Collip's time in Canada. He really was uh, a pioneer in endocrinology, a co-discoverer of insulin, the most productive scientist of the, among the insulin team. Not a flashy person particularly. He was, Collip was a shy man, very hardworking, uh, kind of driven uh, especially after the insulin success when you realized how scientific research could pay off, could pay off spectacularly. 